Hi, Bobby Halton. Today's roll call tip has to do with the command process. For the last 30 years or so, we've been talking about the first new arriving officer assuming command, and that's important. It's all well and good. But perhaps we can tweak it a little. Perhaps the time has come. So let's consider this for a moment. First new arriving should give an estimate of the situation. That should be validated by someone else on the radio and maybe ask a question or two. If there's a command level officer on the radio, perhaps they should affirm, hey, copy that engine one or copy that engine 22. Anything else you'd like to add or engine six, how far out are you? Why should we do that? Well, cognitive engineers, people like Dr. Woods have taught us that alone making decisions under pressure in context with limited information, high risks, and limited time is extremely difficult. But when we have help, assistance, even a supportive voice, it eliminates a lot of that stress and helps us to make better decisions, help us to refocus, helps us to see a broader picture. So think about it. If we take some of that pressure off the first arriving, command remains in command and they provide an estimate of the situation, maybe that's a better system, maybe that's a better way to tweak the command system for the system you're currently working in. Maybe it's not. And I'm not saying you have to absolutely do it in all cases, but it's something to think about. In other words, the first arriving provides an estimate of the situation, decides offensive or defensive maybe, in or out, but everyone else should either acknowledge, support, and help that person rather than expecting that person to dictate down to them what to do. Today's roll call tip was about reassessing how we do command. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it provides some thought. And we'll see you next time on Roll Call Tips.